Hi guys, got a request for help on one of these kits. Um, the guy has apparently lost the electric motor, so he wants to know where he can get a replacement. Well, the simple answer is online, somewhere like eBay or AliExpress or somewhere like that. But you need to know the size of the motor. The instructions don't give you the size. They just tell you, <laughs> they just tell you, do not connect the wires to the mains. They don't give you any details of its actual um, size in any way. There's the motor. Oh, the other thing is, even if you manage to get the motor online, you'll need the gear. So you need to know how many teeth are on it. Again, I don't think that tells you anywhere. Just says pinion gear. I mean, looking at that, assuming it's correct, that is six teeth on it. We will look, we'll pull this one apart and have a look, but that looks like it's six teeth. And then you'll need to know the size of the pin, the shaft to match that. That's going to be pretty small. I'll use my caliper and try and measure it as best I can. Right, motor is in there. How much of this do we have to take apart? All of it, I expect, to get in there. Sometimes I think I'm too helpful for my own good. There is the motor, but we can't get to it without taking this all apart. It's all going to fall apart. There we go. Why aren't you coming apart? Just want to be awkward, do you? It's always possible the original builder. I'm not sure if I built this one or there was one I got that was ready assembled. I'm just wondering if they've glued that. Doesn't want to come apart. That ought to be just one little peg in there, but I bet it's been glued. Oh, gosh, that doesn't want to come apart. Oh, we are coming. We're coming. There we go. All right. That's what we wanted to get to. The motor. Now, nowhere on there is it going to tell you what voltage it is. I would guess, being as we're running off solar, 
one and a half volts, two volts, something like that. Not going to be more than that. You will need to know its length. So I'm getting 1.85 there. So I'm sorry, 11.85. So I'm guessing it'd probably be listed as 12 millimeters. 12 millimeters long. And oh, five point five point six seven five point seven millimeters diameter. Let's just check with zeroed. Oh no, hang on. Come on, zero. Zero. Right, do that again. Five point nine nine, so six millimeters. Diameter. Let's just check that length again. Yeah, six by twelve. So a six by twelve with um, probably one and a half volts, two volts, something like that. And then the teeth on. The, yes, it is six. Can we focus on that? Hang on. Yeah, six teeth on the gear. And that one actually looks like it's split, interestingly enough. But that's not important for you. They're not supposed to be split, just in case you wonder. <laughs> yeah. So, six millimeters. And then let's just check with zeroed again. Right, we're zeroed. The shaft is probably 0.8. Oh, there we go. Allowing for my calipers to wander around a little bit. Yeah, I would say the shaft is 0.8. So when you're trying to find a suitable gear, it needs to be a 0.8 millimeter hole in it. Go back to normal. So we'll just do that one more time. 0.8 millimeters shaft. Six millimeters. Diameter and 12 millimeters long. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's the answer to the question. And I'm, so I'm guessing one and a half volts. It might run on a three volt one, but it's going to be that sort of voltage. It's not going to be a nine volt or 12 volt or anything like that. It's going to be low voltage. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.